Okay, so this lesson is how to read um, a station model, or sometimes you might see it called a station plot. And the first thing we do is a station model is simply a representation of a weather station, just a small weather station that might be on top of a building or a school. In fact, over at the elementary school, there's a weather station. And so a station model represents the information that is collected from that weather station. So at the top, just put a station model, or sometimes they call it a station plot. And here's what it's going to look like. Um, you're going to start with a circle in the center. And uh, the circle in the center is going to tell you the sky cover. So if it's cloudy, you might see half of it covered. That would be 50% coverage. If there's nothing filled in, then there's no clouds in the sky. Okay, so the station model starts out with a circle in the center that tells you the cloud cover. Uh, the next thing I'm going to tell you about is in the upper left-hand corner um, of this station model. So, say right here, you're going to have the temperature. And it's either going to be in um, Celsius or Fahrenheit, depending on just whichever station model it is. So, that's temperature. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to have is what type of weather are we having? And there's different symbols for the different types of weather. So, for example, if we're having rain, um, light would be two dots, moderate would be three dots, and heavy rain would be four dots. And that goes right here. So, for example, that one would be moderate rain. So that's your weather. What type of precipitation are we having? Then down at the bottom, we have the dew point. So, for example, in this station model, the dew point is 56 degrees. And I'm not sure if this one's in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Um, then we're going to have the air pressure, which usually um, goes somewhere over here. So your barometric pressure. And for example, right here, maybe your barometric pressure would go right here. And there's different ways to measure it, so we'll leave it there. Sometimes they measure it in mercury level. Um, so there's different ways to measure it. Um, that's going to be your barometric pressure. And then depending on the station model, you might have sea level pressure or some other things. But we're just going to stick with this for now. And then the other thing is going to be your wind direction. So on your station model, you're going to have your wind direction, which tells you uh, where the which way the wind is coming from. So for example, it's coming from, I believe, I'm going to have to check that again, but it's coming from the northeast. And then these little lines here, right here, are going to tell you how many knots or how fast the wind is coming. So for example, let's say our key says, I don't know, one line, a line like that is five. Uh, let's say they use knots. then that'd be 5. And let's say the longer one would be 10. So what you would do is you'd add that up, so that'd be 10 plus 5, that'd be 15. So that gives you wind direction and the speed of the wind. Um, so there you go.